Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the multivariate distribution. Today we will discuss about conditional distributions and its example for the bivariate normal distribution. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute. You can simply follow this link for finding the various videos on the probability and statistics. So what is the objective of that? We will try to identify what is the conditional distribution of y given x or we can also identify that what is the conditional distribution of x given y is there. So before that we have discussed in the last class what is the bivariate normal distribution. You can previously wa watch my last lecture. Uh, I can quickly recall that what is that if x and y are the two random variables then if ax plus b is normal then we can say x this if ax plus b y is said to be the bivariate when ax plus b y is a normal distribution. So that is the definition of the bivariate. Now before starting the conditional distribution let us recall some assumptions are there. If you are the two random variable x and y such that if x if y follows the random distribution for the each x and the conditional mean of y given x is a linear. What is the meaning of the linear is? If you draw the graph it will be the straight line as there. So this is the conditional distribution of here. So this is all about the mean and what is the variance there? Variance is a constant value that means if you calculate the variance of y given x that is independent of the x is there. What is the meaning of that in graphically? It will be like of here. For the corresponding to the one value of the x, there is some variation that is that this is the, what is the variance? Variance is nothing but my dispersion. What is the dispersion is? That is nothing but my range. So that is nothing but here. So similarly for here and this one here. And the last assumption is the random variable y is a normal one. What is the meaning of these first three in the geometric limit? So this blue line will represent the linear relationship between the x and the conditional mean of y. Also you can say this is nothing but my regression line of y on x. If you are talking about the y given x. If you are talking about the x given y then it will be represented as a regression line of x on the y then it will be like here. Secondly, the red dots, whatever the red dots are here, this are means the possible value of the y. These are say y1 and this is say my y2. These are the possible value of the y corresponding to the value of x1. Similarly, corresponding to this, say this is y1 prime to say y2 prime. These are the corresponding value of the y with respect to the x2 and so on. And the ranges of this, say this is my y1, this is my y2. So the range is my y2 minus y1. Similarly for here the range is say y1 dash and this is say y2 dash and hence the range is y2 minus y2 dash minus y1 and this range must be equal to that. So the, whatever the range of this, whatever the range of this and whatever the range of this they are equal that is the same. The question arises is why because of third assumption that is the variance is same for the each x. Now based on this assumption we can define the conditional distribution of y on the x denoted by here or you can say x on the y which is denoted as x condition y is there. So that is very simple we can start with the marginal of this because we all know that how you can define the conditional density function. This is nothing but my joint density function of the x and y divided by this is a marginal function of the x. And in our last class we have seen what is the PDF of the bivariate normal distribution is here where x is my this and y is my here. Z1 and Z2 is nothing but my standard normal distribution whose mean is 0 variance is 1. Now in order to find the distribution of y for the given value of the x it means this number is given to you like x is 1, x is half, x is 4 and so on. this is already given to you. Then for the given value of the x we can find the value of the z1 from here. I can substitute the value of the x from here. We can find the value of z1. I can substitute the value of the z1 here. We can find the value of the y. So clearly says that this all these terms is a constant. Why? Because sigma, mu, x all are given to you. Similarly this is also with a constant. This is the only variable thing are there. So I can write this value is nothing but a z2 plus b. What is my a is? This is my constant. This is my a and so what is that? This is nothing but my linear function. 
so once we know that this is the constant so it is nothing but my ax plus b we know that if x is my normal then this is nothing but what is that this is the linear combinations so if i call as a y then y is also be a normal so we only need to prove that z2 is a normal so we all know that z2 is a normal already because the standard normal so y is also be a normal now once we know this is the regression line what is that this is nothing but the regression line y is equal to x is x how you find the mean and variance of this so you can see clearly see this line is nothing but my ax plus b you know that how you find the expected value of y this is nothing but my here so i can do like this this is nothing but my constant this is nothing but my b this is nothing but my a and this is my x so i can take is like here we all know that z2 follows the normal distribution with mean 0 and 1 so what is the mean of this this is my 0 so this value is my 0 and i can find here similarly you all know that if you have the ax plus b how you find the variance of y this is nothing but my a square variance of x variance of the constant value is 0 so again i can do for this we will get here so variance of z2 is we all know again z2 is my here so this is my variance variance is my one so what you can conclude that 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 means from this derivation you can see the conditional distribution of y follows the normal distribution having the mean is given by here or you can see this and the variance are how you can remember this this is nothing but my regression line of y on x you all know that how you can write the regression line this is my here this is sigma y y on x over this so now here my target is to find the conditional of y so what is the value of y mu y can be written on the right hand side plus of this similarly for the variance similarly we can define the conditional distribution of the x on y this is nothing but my regression line of x on y all of you know that how you can write the regression line of this is x upon y and y minus of this so you can see how you can find the value of the x is this can be written here and the various you can see this is nothing but sigma square y this is my x so we can see how you can how you can solve the problems are there so we will describe the various examples so let's see we will cover about the five examples in this lecture before that we will define the notation of this by is here this is the mean of the x mean of the y these are the variances of the x and y and what is that row is this is nothing but my correlation coefficient so let's see how we can solve the couple of the examples to understand this so again first of all what is given to you you have to find the probability of the y condition x so it means how you can find the probability of y condition x and it is given to be normal so we can start with the y condition x of this so it means we can start from here what is the value of the x in this case is my 2 so i can start with the value of 2 here so i can substitute what is what is that this is nothing but my mean of y this is nothing but my variance of y this is the mean of this is the variance of x this is the mean of the x r so we can start the value of this this is my mu y what is the correlation coefficient is half what is the variance so this is the variance is my 4 what is the standard deviation is my 2 what is this is my 1 x is my 2 variance is my 1 so after the calculation you will get the required answer as 1 similarly for here you can substitute this value is 1 by 4 sigma square is my 4 so it will be my 3 by 4 of 4 is my 3 therefore y by x that is y condition x follows the normal distribution with the mean is my 1 variance is my 3 now once you know that this is the conditional distribution follow normal distribution then we can start from here so what is that we will try to convert into the z that is my here minus expected value of this divided by variance of this so what is that this is y condition x minus what is the mean of this is my 1 divided by root 3 so i can write this value as z greater than 1 minus 1 that is the value of this is my 1 minus 1 divided by root 3 and what is the 1 minus 1 is 0 so we all know that once it's a normal distribution this value is always 0 what is the area of this due to the symmetric this area is my 0.5 is the right answer so such questions are very usefully asked in the csr net or the gate examinations as well as in the iit jam papers look at the one more examples here so in this case you have to see 
you have to find the conditional distribution of y in x so last example wa was on y condition x now here is x condition y so that is again same thing we will start from here we can substitute the values you can see this value is nothing but my mu x this is my mu y this is sigma x square this is sigma y square and this is my correlation coefficient so we can substitute here this is 1 correlation is 12 by 13 what is the standard deviation of the x this is nothing but my 4 standard deviation of y is nothing but my 5 what is the value of y y is given to be 2 minus of 2 so you can see the answer is my 2 minus 2 is 0 so answer is my 1 similarly for here you can see it's a 144 by 169 of my 16 so you can solve it you will get here hence x upon y condition of this follows the normal distribution with mean or variance r now we can start from here we can convert into the z so what how you can convert into the z is so this is this minus of mean the mean is my one divided by standard deviation so what is that this is nothing but my so since it is not be half so how you can do that we can write in, in terms of the cdf which will be here so this value you can take from the standard normal distribution table so what is that table suggest you you can see on the google or on the any of the book this is the table which is on the left of the left zero that is this is my z of something so where is the 0.65 this is my 0 0.6 this is my 0 0.5 so this is the answer of this number so after the subtraction you will get the required answer as of this look at the another example so again you have to find the probability of now this is the case of y condition x so we can start from here firstly i can write in terms of this bivariate normal distribution rho is unknown to us so we can start with the y condition x we can substitute the value of mu y is my 5 rho is unknown to us sigma of y that is the standard deviation is my 5 this is my 4, 1 standard deviation is 5 minus of 5 so 5 minus 5 is my 0 so this will be my here similarly you can substitute here you will get this is the required answer now therefore this follows the normal distribution now we can start from the left hand side what is that this is my here now this is already given to you we can write in terms of the z so 4 minus what is the mean is my 10 so i can subtract 10 on the both side so it will be 16 minus 10 divided by i can write as a square root of this so it will be 25 times of here now we all know that if you look about that this number and this number are same so we know if probability of a less than of this what is that this is nothing but twice the probability of here so i can write this number as twice of this so it can be written as a divide by this so how you can find the probability of this so if you look about this table all the values are left of this so firstly i can write this number as of less than this so how you can write that so since this number is my 0 to this and I can add the minus of infinity so I can add this number as plus 0.5 so what is that this is 0.977 so look about these values which one is appear as a 0.97 so you can see this is the first value if you look about these values so if it, this is the first number which is appear as a 0.97 so that is corresponding to 2.00 it means this number is my 2.00 that's a 2 so you can see here so you can easily solve them you can get this number as 2 you can simplify this you will get the value of correlation coefficient as 2 since it's a plus minus of 2 but in the quotient statement is that it is given to be here look at the other one is there again you have to find the conditional distribution of y given x so we can start with the y condition x so what is that this is nothing but my mu x this is mu y this is sigma x square this is sigma y square and this is rho so we can substitute the value of here x is my 7 so i can substitute this value one by one you will get this answer as 4 similarly you can substitute here you will get this answer as 16 therefore y by x follows the normal distribution with the mean 4 and the variance is 16 now we can start from here we can convert into the z how you can do that this is y condition x minus the mean is my 4 and the variance is my root 16 it means i can subtract the 4 
8 minus 4 and then I can divide it by root 16 that's a 4 so I can divide it by 4 on each side so this number is my z so I can write this number as of this now how you can write that I can write in terms of the CDF this is CDF of 1 minus CDF of minus 2.5 how you find the value of this both values we can from the normal table so look at the normal table what is the phi of 1 so this is value value of 1 1.0 is my 0 0.84134 what is the minus of 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 so minus of 2.5 5 is the required answer so after the subtraction you will get the required answer as here look about the another example are there again in this case you have to find the probability of y condition x so we can start again from the here so we can substitute the value of y so this is my mu of y 75 what is the correlation coefficient is my 0 0.55 what is the sigma of y this is my sigma y square so it will be my nothing but 12 and 6 you will get here substitute this value in here you will get the answer as hence the normal distribution will follow here we can start from here we can convert into the z so how you can do that this is conditional of this minus mean is 69.5 and the standard deviation is 2511 by 25 so i can subtract 69.5 from each number and divide it by here so after the calculation you will get this number as here again i can write in terms of the cdf this is my here 0 0.1496 now how you can do that 1.0 is here 1.0 but 447 is not be here so it is all up to the one decimal so i can write this number approximately as 1.05 and this number as 0.15 so 1.05 is nothing but 0.85314 minus 0.15 is nothing but my 0.55962 so after the subtraction you will get this is the required so that's all about this conditional distribution about this uh, topic in this lecture i hope you can simply learn this so i request you can kindly like subscribe and comment on these videos and share with your friends best of luck students happy learning.